disturbing news than this. It's Scientology Tom Cruise bad daddy news, honey. Oh, Lord. Because Tom was just <laughs> miles away from Surrey Ugh. and still didn't see her. Oh, Lord. Ay, ay, ay. So <laughs> the story is Tom Cruise uh, attended a, uh, a screening of his new film, The Mummy. Can't wait to see it. Um, oh, you, you can't wait to see it? I'm you totally love that kind of action it. movie. Yeah, I do. Uh, you love You've something, especially so with a lesbian ghost that comes and like does ghosty things. That actress does go les. Yeah. in Charlize's new movie. Uh huh. Do you oh, know what I'm talking does? about? No, I do not. Uh huh. Atomic Blonde. Oh. Soups les action. All right. Well, let's get back to Tom Cruise being a bad daddy. But <laughs> okay. thank you. Our lesbian viewers will appreciate that. Yes. And go check it out for. Pussy reviews with Julie Goldman. <laughs> oh. Check out Dumb Gay hey, Politics. You know, we only have so much. We only have so much. We only have so much. <laughs> anyway, Tom was at a mummy event and he has not seen Surrey in 1,346 days. <laughs> he was just 23 miles from her at this uh. event and he did not plan to see her or come to see his own daughter. So he hasn't seen her in three years. Something yeah, like that. is that how much that is? And I is she living in ask. LA? I thought they lived in New York still. For well, she was there. That's what it was. She, oh, okay. was. she was 30 minutes away without traffic. Wow. <laughs> and he did not go see her. Well, she's a suppressive personality. She is. That little girl is trying to bring him in Scientology yes. down to his yes, knees. Absolutely. He can't see her. He'll, she'll ruin him. She'll, she'll take away his powers to move things with his mind. Yes. Yeah. And connect with Zeno. Right. And get all of his the thetans removed and clear. I just wonder how, <laughs> like, how does he go on these shows with where, like, to happy talk the mummy in the morning and they're not like, Tom, why have you not seen your daughter in 134,000 days? Lady Red, what do you think? Why is the media letting this cover-up happen? I think because the Church of Scientology sends a whole bunch of motherfuckers to intimidate people, walk mm. around, take a bunch of pictures, and don't say a fucking word. So that freaks people out, especially white people, because they don't like to confront people. You know, unlike black people, black people are like, what you like doing to. here? Why are you standing here? You know, white people be like, <laughs> could you go talk to him? Yes, and then could you talk to him, and could you find out who that is, and all of that shit. It, it would be a real shit show, you know what I'm saying? You go to a black morning show, bitch, you already know they get the tea. Like, don't even go to Wendy Williams. She ain't really black. You know what I'm saying? She, like, very cascadal. You know what I mean? Like, cascadal. Wow, okay. <laughs> it's not for real. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so I'm just saying, like, go to, like, I really would love to see, like, him go on a real show where people don't give a fuck and they really want to know the answers. But it's Tom Cruise. Let's, but I want to talk about Jerry Maguire. Have anybody ever been confused how he is, like, four different heights in four 12 <laughs> to scenes and shit? I don't understand why this short motherfucker is our national um, adventure man. Like, I prefer a big, tall motherfucker, you know, lanky or something. Don't give me this little piece of shit that ever, always got to step up on boxes and shit and everybody's <laughs> like halfway looking up to him because they know that the shit ain't real. I don't like that. But fuck but Tom Cruise. You're like, fuck Tom Cruise. Fuck Tom Cruise. <laughs> and someone who has fucked Tom Cruise, Erica Toral. <laughs> <laughs> Erica, you were heavy into Scientology, weren't you? <laughs> Erica, you were supposed to be his original wife. <laughs> and that Nicole Kidman, crazy. and then you. I do, I do adore the heavenly angel, Nicole Kidman, but because she stars in my favorite movie ever. <laughs> The Baz Luhrmann commercial for Chanel. I knew, I knew you were going to say that. You talked about it on the podcast. <laughs> that is the greatest yeah. movie Baz it's Luhrmann the has ever made. Baz Luhrmann's ever made. The Nicole Kidman Chanel commercial. Yeah, it may be my favorite movie ever made. Mm. Anyway, I, I mean, I don't know about all that. I think, what was I talking about? You know what, Erica? <laughs> Just get up and spin. You don't know what you have nothing to say. So spin, 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 spin. Back in time. Yeah. Oh, Erica's like a hot tub time machine. Is that what you just said? Spinning, we'll all go back in time. This is great. Forward in time. We'll warn them about the election. Yes. 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 Yes.